Hello, good evening. Welcome to this weather update. It's 11:30 p.m. on August 14th, 2019, and kind of a uh, rainy day actually here in the middle of Nassau. Uh, very localized showers popped up today. Uh, you want you can you're not seeing them now, but they were there earlier, like over a very narrow area in the middle of the island. That actually they came down and and it rained pretty good. And if you take a look at some of these rainfall reports here from the Wonderground site, you will see some higher numbers here. Half an inch by Eisenhower Park, and it was this general area right here that wound up getting these showers that just kind of kept moving over us. Uh, you know, they're kind of like moving really slowly and just sitting there. Let's see if we can get some more rainfall reports here. So you can see how localized it is. Right around Nassau Community College, a half an inch. But then you go up here and very uh, barely anything. Same thing here. So it was it's sitting right over this area. So we're going to look at the Ventu sky and show you what happened. We're going to take a look at the radar and we'll take you back to that time. I believe it was around 3 o'clock. And you see we just had these like localized showers that were just literally just sitting over us. Uh, you could see here these localized showers. And some of them were pretty heavy too. Uh, no thunder, no lightning, but uh, some of these were pretty heavy. It was pouring. Uh, and you can see they were just kind of sitting over the middle of the island there for a little bit. Uh, and that's where you got those half-inch rainfall amounts. So we weren't expecting to see this today. But again, we have a stall front. The reason why we didn't get the severe weather yesterday, uh, and the same reason why we're seeing the rain today is the, is the stall front. Uh, we have a stall front over our area. Uh, if we look at the conditions, it's still quite kind of muggy outside. Dew point is still 69 degrees. Uh, and it's been humid all day long. Two points close to 70 degrees. Uh, did he almost hit 80 degrees here, uh, but not, not that hot. Just really humid. Uh, and if you look at the sad light, you can see uh, we uh, put this back to. We'll go to 48 hours. We will see here. This stall front, uh, 48 frames. I wanted to get some from the day. Let's move this over here. Just to show you what it looked like during the day. We'll go up to 84 frames to show you what it's like during the day. I know it's a little later than I normally do it. You can see this front just sitting over us here. So this front, trying to move this front offshore, basically. Uh, it's hitting this ridge, basically. There's some nice dry air up here. Uh, and uh, my friend and colleague, Matt, is going up to Niagara Falls. And he's going to be, have beautiful weather. The humidity is going to be low. There will be sunshine. But for us, we're going to be dealing with clouds and humidity as the stall front lingers in our area. So uh, let's take a look at our forecast here, looking at the GFS. Uh, we'll start off with the GFS and we'll start off with the dew points. All right, let me move this uh, to the current day, uh, current time. So uh, as we head into tomorrow, you'll see here, you see there's plenty of dry air up north of our area. You can see you got this, this, this southeast flow coming in, and it's just going to keep the humidity with us. And maybe a little dry air tries to come in, but more or less this front is stalled out at this point. And upstate, they'll have nice weather way upstate, but we're going to be stuck with the stall front. Uh, and uh, that stall front is going to linger in the area and then return as a warm front as we head into Friday, Saturday, Sunday. See that humidity come right back at us as we head through there. I'm not going to go any further than that in this weather update. We'll just cover into the weekend. Um, so you can see we're dealing with stall front syndrome again, unfortunately. Uh, we'll now take a look at the temperatures and see how the uh, GFS does with the temperatures. Uh, and you will see temperatures tomorrow. Low 80s. There's only going to be a lot of cloud cover, so it'll probably keep the temperatures down. Friday, same deal. Probably maybe a little cooler, around 80. And then temperatures increase by the weekend along with the humidity. And it starts getting brutal towards Sunday. Look at that. Has us going into the 90s. So we might see some brutal weather as we get into next week. Ugh. Not what, not what I want at all is that, get that stuff again. But that's exactly what we're going to be getting. So uh, let's now look at the sky conditions. As we head into Thursday, and you see we're stuck in the clouds. So while it's nice and clear upstate, we got these clouds because we're dealing with the stall front. And then that returns north as a warm front, and we just can't get, we can't shake these clouds. Uh, we're going to be dealing with the clouds, we're going to be dealing with the humidity uh, and the heat, uh, basically. So we're not going to get into it, at least if you're upstate. Uh, you head north up toward Albany and further north, you're going to have nice weather. You get away from the stall front, you'll be doing much better. So let's go to the NAM model. We'll take a look at our precipitation chances because there are chances for that too, you know. 
Uh, so you can see the Nam here tries to get rid of the clouds tomorrow, but it's going to be a struggle. And then the clouds come right back at us on Friday, pretty much. But uh, if you go upstate again, uh, it's going to be nice and clear. Maybe a few pop cumulus clouds around, but it be, should be nice and clear. Uh, and because this has higher resolution, we'll be able to see with the dew point even better as we look at tomorrow. And you will see uh, the NAM doesn't even get... I don't see us drying out at all. I think the dew points... Maybe we'll get dew points down to the mid-60s. That's going to be it. But upstate, you'll have dew points in the low 50s and upper 40s. So much nice... They're getting into the nice air, but we're not because we've got this stall front and this stupid ridge that is offshore. Now uh, we look at our chances for precipitation. Uh, and uh, you will see that there are some chances for precipitation. So uh, as we head into... Thursday, it's still slight, it has still some showers possible over New Jersey, and maybe some little tiny showers could develop in the afternoon, possibly, just very isolated, but then that warm front moves north, and you can see that there's actually some thunderstorms that actually start heading toward upstate, and uh, as we head later into the weekend, I think the weather upstate will deteriorate as well, and here in our area, you'll see some thunderstorms developing Friday, and uh, we'll be dealing with that threat through the weekend as we deal with this humid air mass chances for showers and thunderstorms. No real dry weather uh, for the weekend. Uh, you know, if this front had moved just a little further south, we wouldn't be having this problem. But again, when you go and you look at the Conus view, uh, and we zoom out to the Conus view here, you will see that, uh, or we can just even go to eastern U.S. here, you can see the problem, and that is this damn ridge uh, that just is, is a constant problem for us. This freaking ridge right here. Uh, Let's go look at the dew points. Just, it kind of shows you. This really shows up the ridge really nicely when you look at the dew points. You see this stupid ridge here in the Atlantic. This is the problem. This is the thorn on our side. Uh, this freaking ridge acts as a roadblock to the dry air trying to get in for us. Uh, and again, this is not normal. This is not something we should be seeing for months and months on end. But the weather gets stuck as we deal with the consequences of our changing climate. So uh, that will wrap up this weather update. Um, you know, if you can, head north, you know, and away from the stall front uh, uh, to get away from the humidity because we're surely not going to be getting away from the humidity uh, for at least the next uh, three or four days. Anyway, that does conclude this weather update. Thank you for watching.